ओके एम आई ऑडिबल लाउड एंड क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस ओके सो ये स्टडी वी डिड इन्फ्लुएंशियल स्टैटिस्टिक्स राइट वी लर्न हाइपोथिस and we started with we learned how to do hypothesis and then we started with a uh, z test right z test is what we started with right okay all of you can see my screen right so today we are going to do this z test yesterday i showed you how to conduct a z test but in r you don't have to follow those steps you don't even have to look at the z tables right these tables <coughs> so i want all of you to open r studio and i hope you have downloaded this uh, sorry you have installed the package r commander type R, if you have downloaded R Commander, we'll be needing this package today, right? So that's why. What about others? I've only got four responses. Can I be sure that all of you have downloaded? okay thanks for the response azmuddin any can you just put your query in the chat window if you have or you can just put down your hand okay so yesterday we also did z test we learned about how do we what is z test rather right and we were here right z test okay so we'll continue with some examples of z test right so question we are going to do some questions everyone on r everyone is open r studio so i can start right okay so let's see this question the test scores of an entrance exam fit the normal distribution right so when there is normal distribution and uh, mean a uh, mean test score of 7 of with a mean test score of 72 and a standard deviation of 15.2 compute the percentage of students scoring 84 or more so what what it is saying it is saying that if it if this is a normal distribution right mean is 72 right and some standard deviation they have given 15.2 now they want to know you want to compute the percentage of students scoring above now this is 84 right 84 so you want to compute the students who scored above 84 this part on the right side of 84 right the question is clear right to calculate this percentage we will use command p norm p norm is the command and when you write p norm first you have to mention sorry first you have to mention the p norm if i write p norm first you have to mention q q here means the value that you want to evaluate right 
then you mention the mean right then you mention the standard deviation and since it is a one tail test right oh, sorry since we have to we need the uh, weight or oh, sorry we need the proportion which is there on the right side right so we'll write lower tail equal to false means if i want if i want the percentage in this tail on the right on the left side of 82 then i'll write lower tail equal to true if i want it on the right side i'll mention lower tail equal to false okay try this and see are you able to get a percentage if i run this we should get a 21 we should get 21% script when i'm sharing this right now just install such change just install our commander so you have not done you have not installed it install dot packages our commander library don't run library now arush right now don't run library it will activate our commander will pop up a window right right now don't run library only install the package okay and start with what we are doing okay we open r and start with this question did you get this percentage 21 percent p norm if you got this percentage type p in the chat window P for P norm. Okay, then there are four different uh, way you can calculate the probability. P norm used to get the probability area under the curve, right? So you could see this what we were what I was showing that is area under the curve, right? Now d norm gives you the density at a point what is the density at a single point how much was the density right remember density <coughs> we i showed the density uh, when we were doing violin chart right how much is the density at a particular point how how many observations are there at a single point right so d norm will give you that and q norm and r norm we are, will not be doing it, but yeah, you can try later, right? Q norm, Q norm and R norm, okay? Yeah, why are we writing lower tail equal to false? Uh, Ram, if I don't write lower tail equal to false and run it, it will give me the area on the lower tail, right? It will give me the area on the lower tail of this 84, okay? ram lower side means left side you can try it if i don't write or i write lower tail equal to true let me write lower tail equal to true but see what do i get 78 got it okay so but we want the area on the right right side na? because we want students who scored 84 or more okay i hope that clears the doubt right okay so this is same p norm d norm try d norm it will give you the density at that point right 0 0.01 1.9% 1. is the density uh what can what you can know lakshmi but how can we know that means on which side you have to whether you have to use lower tail or upper tail oh sorry lower tail equal to yes or no okay lakshmi see read the question what did it say 
percentage of students scoring 84 or more so if i plot the now on this where is 84 or more lakshmi on the right side so i want it means i want the i want the area on the upper tail upper side of 84 that is why so i'll put see the command is not only upper tail or oh, sorry lower tail there is no command called upper tail okay the syntax that we have or you can say the command that we have is only lower tail so either you can put lower tail true or lower tail false okay clear okay webhav what do you mean by what does this mean unexpected symbol you have not okay 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 fine so denom all of you try d denom right okay good yeah yeah you did not write i i saw that you did not write equal to false i was about to say that right okay anyways uh, let's continue p norm uh, okay it is one tail test so this is a one tail test okay of course you can see it's on the one side given the percentage of data above it it gives the percentage of the data above 84 right okay let's try another question question 2 i want you to try this question 2 yes now try question 2 on your own yeah yeah we are just uh, doing see test will be doing when we do t test and all right right now what is the command for calculating we are just understanding how do we calculate the uh, proportions okay yeah it is only a command for yeah it is only a command for uh, calculating the probabilities of the event okay T, t test is far more used than z test so i have not included z test t test and anova in data science you will be using far more than that that's why i just covered i've just covered this probability part and then we'll see how we do the tests as we proceed t test and all right okay done question two How many of you done to type two in the chat window? Okay, so what was the answer? Five percent, close to five percent. 4.7 right okay normal distribution okay now what are the chances he earns more than 30000 i'll just subtract it from 1 okay or i do a lower tail equal to false same thing exactly yes bharat yes left side correct bharat you are right okay okay then again d norm you can try d norm a company has 500 employees salary of this is average normal distribution he gets greater than 50000 you can just try another variation so this is all about 
z test okay uh, okay now when you have seen that okay try this d norm when we want to get the value of z we use uh, yeah q norm that is we'll do it later yeah d norm just try this what is the density at 50000 right you get this value what is the density at 50000 when mean is 40000 and standard deviation is left side means up to mean or full left side uh, from okay left side means not up to mean up to that 84 up to 84 the value of x not x bar okay okay so all of you got this when you run this d norm you got 1.65 some some number and e notice e to the power minus 5 anyone knows what is this e to the power minus 5 exponential do you know what is e e to the power minus 5 how do you read this yes yes right arush you are right 1.657 Ten to the power minus five. So it means my actual number. If I write this, let me take you to Excel. If I write this number here, so it will be. I will have to place. I'll have to shift the decimal five places to the left, right? So this will be my. notice excel has already done it so if i change the number format i'll put a general number format fine see so this is my number right right okay now if you get this number in r you can run this command options sci pen means scientific pen equal to some random number and digits i mentioned the digits how many digits i want after the uh, after the uh, decimal point right it gives the result in proper decimal point so if i run this and then i calculate t norm can you see now i'm getting the 10 decimal points okay it will not give the numbers it will not give the result in exponential form okay clear 999 is just a random number it's a scientific notation i mean to prevent scientific notation psi pen equal 999 will prevent the scientific notation okay if you are not comfortable with that you can run this command and it will give you complete the, all the decimal point places okay right so quickly can you try one more question question 3 for calculating the probability then we'll move on to t test and we will use r commander there question 3 i want you to do question 3 the average score of virat kohli is 53 and the standard deviation is 40 assume the run scored by virat by kohli is normally distributed find out the probabilities of kohli hitting 100 or more or more than 100 in the next innings hundred or more right so i should be either i do a one minus p norm or i add a or i add the argument lower tail equal to false right
clear the above the result is 0.1 what is the result 0.1 to 12% yes sir yes sir okay 11 one, one, yeah 119 one, one, so I, i just rounded it off okay done okay now moving on to t test so if you remember that excel which i showed to you yesterday this one right when we have a normal distribution and the population standard deviation is not known or the samples are less than 30 right we will use t test okay so let's this was just in brief but we'll do now we'll just understand what t test is and who invented and all these all the uh, assumptions and some theory about t test also sachin just hold on right right will okay let me just complete this Yes, sir. I'm downloaded R Commander, but I am not shown in not shown in script window means I am not shown in script window means you 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 where did you run it then you should have you would have run it in the script window only, na? You don't have to run library for now. Just run, just install package. That is all I am saying. Okay. okay now <coughs> student uh, t test is also known as student t test it was invented by the statist uh, by a very famous statistician william gossett right william s gossett while working for a quality control job in a guinness brewery right so guinness brewery is a very famous brewery i think in uk or europe i am forgetting it right so he invented this while he was working in a job in guinness brewery since he invented this uh, while working in a job he preferred to not to keep his name and keep it anonymous and publish the results under the pen name student so that's why it's called students t test so he used an anonymous name because he was working in a job so he did not wanted that name to his name to uh be linked or be associated so he named it as students t test now what is students t test and when do we use it already i have discussed this is this okay uh, when do we use we'll see first let's understand what is a t test a t test is a series of distribution as every sample size being small sample has a different distribution now see when you if you remember that simulation right if we have a sample size which is bigger right so we consider n is a bigger sample size right if we have oh, sorry n equal to 30 is a bigger sample size which is this blue curve if you can see i'll just enlarge this if you can see the blue curve right that is where n is equal to 30 and it is where, so when n is equal to 30 what will be the what will be this curve can anyone tell when n is equal to 30 what will this curve approximates to blue curve exactly right everyone agrees it it will approximate a normal distribution right now when we have n less than 30 notice n is now see z z is this black curve if you notice z and n equal to 30 the blue one and black one can you see they are just very close and just adjacent i mean they are just overlapping both of them right right so that's how close a normal curve and a curve where uh, a t test curve where n is equal to 30 is right 
but notice as we start reducing the sample size n is equal to 20 right then n is equal to 5 n is equal to 3 you can see the curve starts to flattening from the top and becoming broader on the tails yes yes all of you can see this right so that is why we say t test is a series of distribution or oh, sorry t distribution is a series of distribution because for every n see every n is going to give a significant contribution is going to make a significant contribution to the curve right when n is equal to 3 if you and again i am taking you back to that simulation example where n was equal to 5 or even n, n was equal to 2 right there was lot of variability right remember if n is equal to 2 average a mean could come on either side and it could be even uh, far away from the uh, the sample mean could be even far away from the population mean right yes because n because the n is small my sample mean can be far away from the population mean right it means it has the the values that are away from the mean the values that are away from the mean they have a greater probability of occurrence and that is why you find these tails thicker on either side getting it when when you have n smaller your tails get thicker because the values the extreme values or the values away from the mean right they have greater probability of occurrence okay and with n with every n changing 5 4 3 there is a significant change in the curve that is why we call it as a it's a group of uh, it's a series of distribution okay clear is that clear Sachin not right now just hold on Sachin let me complete let me complete this concept right then I'll I can share this I I can I can uh, you can share your screen but I told you earlier also you don't know how to give it back so just hold on let me I'll help you just give me a minute okay understand first concentrate on this what we are doing understand the concept of t test and then we will i'll help you when we do a r commander i have been told i've been telling you to download r commander for last two days i told you day before monday that please download r commander okay okay is this clear why it is a series of distribution as every sample size brings a uh, sample size being small size has a different distribution right now when do we use t test in two scenarios when population standard deviation is unknown and population is normal it is a normal notice all of these are normal distributions right z z they might not coincide with z which is the standard normal distribution but all of these are normal distributions right they are normal means they are symmetric around the mean right so all of these are normal so when the population is normal or when the sample size is less than 30 then we will use t test is this clear can i proceed any questions on this let me know okay no questions can i proceed okay now <coughs> characteristics of t distribution symmetric unimodal and a family of curve all of you would agree and we have discussed this also right flatter from the middle and more area in the tails right thus there are more chances of extreme values than the normal distribution which i just discussed right t distribution approaches sn uh, standard normal curve as n becomes large 
right characteristics are clear assumptions scale of measurement applied to the data is continuous and or ordinal right the data is collected from representative randomly selected so samples are randomly selected these are assumptions right normal distribution and this one third no it's a normal distribution is a very important assumption and fourth homogeneity of variance means homogeneous or equal variance vari variance exists when the standard deviations of samples are approx uh, of samples are approximately equal now now when do we need homogeneity of variance when we are comparing two samples whether they come they come from a same population or not right we will we can only compare them when the variance is homogeneous means the variance is similar okay we'll test this uh, assumption also when we do t test okay right assumptions are clear then this is the formula which you don't have to remember anyways okay now there are three types of t test one sample t test independent sample t test independent two sample t test and paired sample t test now what is this one sample t test let me define all the three and then we'll go to r and run uh, and we'll do this test on r com uh, r commander and r studio okay okay one sample t test when we compare the mean of one group against the population one group here means one sample when i want to compare whether this sample a single sample came from a i want to test whether this sample came from the population this population or not right so example a researcher wants to determine if the average eating time of a burger differs from the set of values uh, from a set value that is 10 minutes so what is it saying historically the average eating time of a burger was 10 minutes but we want to test now after collecting the sample that whether people in this area from where i have collected the sample whether they are also eating the burger in 10 minutes or they are or their time is different okay clear one sample t test then independent two sample t test two sample t test is used to compare the means of two different samples means you compare the mean of two simple two different samples and check whether they belong whether they are um equal or not whether they they belong to the same population or not okay compare the average height of male employees to the average height of female employees so what we are doing here we are comparing the average height of male employees after taking a sample and we are comparing the average height of female uh, females and then we are seeing whether they to whether both of them belong to a same population means the average height of male and female are more or less same okay clear example is clear for independent two sample type 2 is the example is clear okay then dependent or paired sample t test now this is very different from independent dependent this is independent you don't have a relation between male and female i mean they are different right dependent used to compare the related observations now how are they related we first now this is used a lot in real scenarios when we are when we want to test the results of an activity or the impact of an activity done for example if we want to comp uh, we compare separate means of a group at two different times or under two different conditions like we conducted a we conducted let's say we conducted some trainings in a corporate right yeah let me read this out comparing the productivity level before and after the training program in a company isn't it dependent i am going to pick the samples 
before the training then i am going to pick the same samples say so i am going to uh samples uh, sorry i'll i am going to pick the samples with the productivity levels right let's say there was a measure to um, uh, there was a metric to measure the productivity right so i am going to pick the samples before the training program was conducted and to measure the effectiveness of the program i am going to pick the samples again and these samples are going to be the same pe from the same people okay i'm going to again after the training program i'm going to pick the those samples and measure the productivity now if there is a difference it means then the training program was successful difference means if the productivity rose then it means the training program was successful okay can you give me some other example of of this okay let me give one more example then i would really see who can give me an example before and after situation i'll give one more example uh in a in a city in a city government in order to improve the health care of the people installed open air gyms everywhere right so that people start get into that habit of exercising right they get into the habit of right so the measurement the the health measure the statistic they took let's uh, take it as uh, weight they they took the weight of let's say 20 people on an average right and and uh, what was the average they got it and then after installing that open air gym let's say after 6 months they again pick up the uh, weight right so that's the example of dependent pair paired sample test okay is this clear dependent sugar test before okay yes web of good a uh, cricket played by a group at mumbai and bangalore no web of c cricket played by a group at Mum okay at mumbai and bangalore but what are what is the measure you are you want to test see it is not a depend okay same by same team okay i i i'll just slightly modify your uh, uh, example so it was a very good attempt right same team played we want to see if a team performs better in a particular city let's say my uh, mumbai there is a team from mumbai we want to see whether they perform better in mumbai or bangalore right so we'll see the average score we'll pick up some samples right and we'll see the average score in mumbai and bangalore and then we will test whether they belong to the same uh, group or is there a significant difference okay clear okay sales of mask and sanitizer before and after yes very good example correct then uh, rohit said sugar test before breakfast and after the meals right sugar test done before the breakfast and after the breakfast okay good <coughs> angela when changing a process condition say increase in temperature and see if it improves changing a process condition say increase in temperature improves the quality of the product yes correct angela that's also a good example right so you got it before and after okay right okay now i want all of you to go to our studio okay and before you go to our studio i have given i have shared this have i shared this session 5 in google drive yes okay good Yes, Sachin. Now you tell me what what's the issue. Sachin, can you give? I'll give you the rights, but can you share it back to me? Do you do you know how to share? Okay, just hold on for a minute. Let me help Sachin. Right. Okay, I'm sharing the rights with you.
Sachin, I made you the presenter. And you can speak also. Yes, yes. Yes, Sachin, tell me. So I, uh, when I, you, you see, you have seen my screen. Yeah, I can see your screen. Script window is, uh, is empty, sir. Actually, script is not there of R commander. I have run the uh, package of R commander. It's running. And it's running. So, where if you have run, if you have installed the package, where will you check whether the package has been installed or not? Uh, sir, in fourth quadrant window, na? There, fourth quadrant windows has uh, five tabs in the packages section. Okay, close this. Reopen our studio. Right. Now check in packages. Search whether you have R R C M D R. R C M D R. It's there. It's there. I can see. It's there. So it's installed. What's the issue? Now you run. Okay. The script, now the script is sir. The script is not there actually. The script is not there in the script window. I have not found the script sir. Which the script? R commander. R commander script. You did a library, you ran library, and it's running. See, the script, you, I think you have installed it earlier. Did you install it for just now? It's aborting. Why is it aborting? Our encoder fetal session was terminated. Why is it aborting? Actually, uh, uh, in your screen, in your, in your R studio, the script is there uh, in the script window. But I have not found the script, actually. That's what happened. This is the problem. No, no, there is no script. You just close first. Close this pop up. Close this pop up. No, this is not close actually. The script is in red. Can you see loading packages? All the dependent packages are loaded in console. That is the script. Where it is the script runs in the console, not in the error in the R studio. Maybe chat. This pop -up is not click uh, click on start new session. Yeah, click on it. Now just hold on. Now write library R commander in the script. Yeah, R library R commander. No, not here. In the first quadrant, library, yes, R commander. CMDR, yeah. Now run this only line number two. Don't run uh, if you line number two. Only okay. line number to select and run. Now it has run. Yeah. Anyways, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Now run. Why? Why did you remove it? Yeah. Now run. Run it. Our studio is unable to auto save this while you may need to restart. There is some issue. I think. OK, click OK. Start the new session again. There is another again, there is some There is some issue with your. Just do it last time. Start new session. OK, close this. Close this session completely. Our studio. Just close it and run. Open it again. Run R Studio. Yes, uh, sorry. Run library.
it's there already open see it's blinking yeah okay now run library r commander okay now run only line number 2 select it select it and run uh, now run okay wait okay just click it's running just hold on it's running okay now no there is some issue i think i don't know why are you getting this error the session is terminating yours is a 32 bit or a 64 bit 64 bit sir 64 bit then i don't know and it's not giving the message also latest theme all the dependent library okay do this do this close this okay now you do it on your own right <coughs> you are also getting the same error when you run library uh bharat and who else is getting the same error kijendra also nisha okay so if you are getting but why am i i i am able to run it okay in those who are getting this this error those who are getting this error okay just download r uh, just install r commander again i think some of the packages are the dependent packages they have not been downloaded just try installing it again okay got it i'll i'll show you uh, sachin can you give me the presenter rights i'll show you how this then okay this yeah, anyone yeah, i am clicking sir uh Sorry? i i show you the print light where i am clicking uh in the top stop sharing pause share option assign audio new participant chat where i am clicking sorry i could not get that okay where where i click sir where i click to give the presenter light to you see i don't know your screen but you you will have something called a session session yeah Sh share click on my name you just click on my name can you see my name in the list no. no sir no sir there is a list of participants participants click on my yes. name and yes. and change the role it will give you option change the role to presenter i am clicking the your name
okay sorry uh, my bad i think i got on i got it on mute okay i am saying do you have this version 2.72 okay let me install r commander how it will get installed let me see and it has just installed some additional because i already had this r commander so it has just installed some additional uh, dependencies trying to this downloaded one five application this one application it downloaded okay and after can you see this window next to in can you see this uh, icon next to our it should come like this it you will not see it but when i click it you will get a pop up like this how many of you are getting this first tell me this type type r if you are getting a window like this okay web have got it nisha you also got it sachin i am saying those who are getting it just type r in the chat window only two of you got it okay vaibhav and sudha yeah nisha nisha i am saying when you run okay i'll okay also when you have when you have, when you got this window just minimize it don't close it okay i am saying nisha when you do when you run library r commander okay when you run library r commander you can see a script ran here at the bottom in the console right was built under and also make sure this r version you can just check those who are having issue just check your r about r studio wait about r so Well, its version R Studio is one point four. it is saying our version should be 4.1.3 right so what you do is you just check the version of r it's 4.2 then it's fine fine then it should work so now when you okay close our studio once we'll we'll do it again right close our studio everyone close our studio once those who are having issues okay close our studio because once you open our commander right and i close it right i am showing it to you if i close it right i exit and okay now i will have to close our studio once to reopen it see if i try to reopen it again it will not open okay it will because it's a heavy package our studio needs to be reinstalled or uh, reopen okay just try doing it see now, now it is not opening but if i close this our studio i am closing our studio and again opening our studio now if i run library r commander you will see it will again open it now once try this see again it has i have this r commander here next to r you'll see r commander icon now 
click on that icon and you will be able to open R Commander. This is the window of R Commander. Now, type R again, those who have got it. After closing R Studio, if you have got it again, type R. Let me see how many of you are getting it. Okay. Did you close it and uh okay. Not working. Kiran, Kiran, you closed it and you restarted it so you got it, right? Okay. What about others? I'm waiting for response, not working, okay, no problem, if it is not working, then also there is no problem, right, it's just that I don't know what's the issue with this particular package, okay, we have our studio takes time to load, okay, no problem, I'll wait, not an issue, we'll wait, okay, I'm waiting, not an issue, what about others, can I have response from other people also? Not working, okay, not working. Strange one. Hushbu, earlier I did not get the pop up, but now I'm getting the pop up message to start. So you can restart it. It's not working. Strange, why is it not working? Okay, no problem. If our studio, uh, our commander is not working, not an issue. We have, see, what we are going to do, we are going to run these uh, we are going to do all the questions on t test in r as well as r studio uh, in r studio as well as r commander right but since r commander is not working i have the steps here you can follow those steps whenever r commander works maybe some issue at the back end right because when i am getting it uh, because you should also get it and it's not that I have a different package, some packages, a different package is installed. Yes, op reopen it, Kiran. Okay, so most of you are not getting it, right? I assume, so don't worry, we will not do our commander steps, but I will show this our how you can run these tests in R Commander, right? I'll show that in the on the screen, but because most of you are not getting it, we will do all these tests in R Studio. In the May, we'll write the codes, okay? Clear? Okay, so don't worry. It's not that you can do the steps without R Commander. R Commander is, a, is just a package, and maybe today this package is having some issues, Maybe at the back end, from the back end, there are some issues that most of you are not able to open it, right? But we can always do these tests in our studio, okay? So we'll start with the test in our studio, okay? So one sample, can we continue, all of you? Those who have not getting our commander, don't worry. We'll not continue with our commander, but I, ha I have given the steps and I will show you how to uh, do the test in our commander so that you have it in the recordings also. Okay, clear. Okay, now I hope all of you have downloaded this data set 5 on your system. You have these data sets, right? Okay, so let's start with first example of one sample t test. Okay, what is this one sample t-test? Let's, I want all of you to read this question. I want all of you to read this question. 
ओके अब मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरर कंपनी हैज टेकन अ सैंपल ऑफ मोबाइल्स ऑफ द सेम मॉडल फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस मंथ्स डेटा दे वांट टू चेक वेदर द एवरेज स्क्रीन साइज ऑफ द सैंपल डिफर्स फ्रॉम द डिजायर्ड लेंथ ऑफ 10 सेंटीमीटर राइट स्क्रीन साइज दीज आर द 10 स्क्रीन साइज दे हैव टेकन 10 सैंपल ऑफ 10 राइट एंड दीज आर द 10 स्क्रीन साइजेस राइट clear okay so now can you tell me first of all is this a one tail test or a two tail test read the question and tell me it is a one tail test or a two tail test okay two tail right so those who are saying one tail can you tell me why one tail what we have to test we have to check whether the average screen size of the sample differs from the desired length yes exactly rohit and who said only rohit said or ram ram differs when you say differs it means it is not equal to 10 different from 10 right rohit and ram i hope you are getting my point right differs means it can go we have to check whether the length of the screen is different from 10 it's a two tail test okay so what will be the hypothesis what will be the h0 here what will be h0 exactly at 0 will be the length is equal to 10 and the mean screen size is equal to 10 mu is equal to 10 clear and the mean screen size is not equal to 10 is my alternate clear these two points are clear H1, H0 is clear to all of you. Type H, okay. Yes is also yes is also fine. Type yes, fine. It's okay, right? Okay, great. Okay, now R commander, I'll show you. But if because there is some issue with R commander, okay. First, I want you to read this or don't uh, run these line number 103 and 105. You can directly import it. i have just given two two options import it you use import data set and import this screen size data data sample 1 t test this file screen size sample 1 t test import this into and assign a name mob size line number 110 are you able to read my screen are you able to read my screen yes okay fine okay R line number 110 assign a name to this file mob size okay once you do it just type m in the chat window let me help santosh santosh package unable to download r mi tools when did you get this error santosh did you did you run some uh, code no no did you run some code when you got this error which code did you package or namespace load uh, failed for effects so okay i don't think you should have any issue uh, doing the test because they are from base r right okay when you run when you tried running r commander you got this error right yeah leave r commander we are not doing r commander today right we'll see if we can if we'll i i'll give you i i'll give you the steps perform those steps today and if we are able to get our commander tomorrow i will will continue right otherwise i will show you so that you have it in your 
recordings how to do these tests in arc wonder okay okay 110 if you have done 110 type 110 okay i'll wait for some more confirmations give me two three more confirmations so that i can continue okay okay good thank you okay right so let's view this uh okay i have not imported it i'll import it screen size right so i have 10 observations here and they are imported right let me assign the name mob so all of you are able to view right okay now how do you conduct a one sample t test okay we know the hype we have conducted uh, we have constructed a null and alternate right i have just mentioned that only here okay null hypothesis mean screen size does not differ from 10 and alternate hypothesis mean screen size differs from 10 okay so it's a two tail test now our studio approach i use this command t dot test i use this command t dot test mob size that is the name of the file alternative equal to two sided notice two sided two dot sided is in quotes alternative equal to two dot sided means it's a two tail test and then i mention the mean mu equal to 10 and is it a paired tell me is it a paired no it's not a paired so i mention paired equal to false run this line 1 to 5 1 to 6 and 1 to 7 what we are interested okay what does paired means okay suman i just showed it to you yeah paired i i just showed you paired sample t test three th third one if you remember paired means before and after situation right like uh, we discussed training before the training and after the training that's a paired sample t test okay so we don't have a paired here suman right we only have a single uh single sample right okay how many of you got the result of one sample and you got the p value 0.5986 type p in the chat window p okay now you have got the p value so to check whether we will reject the null or accept the null what we do we compare p with the significance level and we are assuming since nothing is given we will assume the p uh, will assume the significance level equal to 5% right so line number 129 since p value is greater than the significance level so what should we do in that case if p value is greater than the significance level do we say accept nisha we fail to reject remember fail to reject right we don't accept we never accept h0 remember that right we fail to reject h0 right everyone agrees this so i can say i am 95% confident that the sample that i have picked is from a population which has a mobile screen size of 10 is that clear clear to all of you 
this example right so mu is equal to 10 means null hypothesis mu is the mean na see yeah you're right see desired length of 10 centimeter mu means what is mu population mean remember mu and sigma population parameters right so mu here means population mean you have to mention the population mean right we of course of course we when we construct the null we say that there is no difference right we say that okay the mean size is equal to the we though we have not conducted the test we what we assume okay it's it's as a situation remember bharat as a situation means okay even the sample that i have picked right it has come from the same population and same population means it has the same mean which is 10 that is what h0 is okay okay so now i will show how we do this in R commander. In R commander, the only thing is that you don't have to write these codes. Okay. But of course, when we were, even if R commander was running for all of you, I would have asked you to do it with R studio approach. Means you have to write the code also. But R commander is an alternative approach. Okay. So I'll show you how we can run this in R commander. See, this is my window. I go to data, import data and I pick up the Excel file and let me name it as mob size 2, right? I click OK. I have named the file, okay? Now, I go to data. Now, oh, wait, what happened? Excel mob size 2. not a valid name okay right mob size i have to give a valid name the name is not valid mob size three okay i yeah see now when i give a name it it will take it will open that explorer window wherein i can pick up the file i just picked up the file open now our commander has imported the file and given a name here data set it has given a name okay now i have what i have to do is i go to data activate this data select active data set i have to see mob size 3 comes here as a data data set which is there in our commander now so i just select it click ok now it is ready to be used i go to statistic mean i have single sample t-test. All I have to do is just click OK. I have to just mention null, no, yeah. What is my null? It's 10, mu is equal to 10, right? And I just click OK and it's done. Okay, and if you will notice, now you can definitely try, maybe tomorrow you should be able to open our commander, right? So that's why I'm showing it so that it's there in the recordings. Okay, now see the p-value, it's same as what we got it from the, from writing the code, right? Clear? So I'll, I'll do it for other test also, okay? So that you know how to, uh, whenever your R commander works, you can uh, try it on R commander, okay? Clear, this first example is clear. Can I proceed to the second one? Okay, this is our commander approach. I have also given the steps here, which which is there in the uh, PDF file, which I have already shared. Okay, okay. So this is how our p-value was 0.59. Rejection region was on both the sides, right? But since the p-value was greater than 0 0.05. P does not lie in the rejection region. Therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis at 95% confidence interval. We can say this also because it's a 5% significance level. I can say I am 95% confident. We fail to reject the null hypothesis at 95% confidence interval. Okay. Okay. Now coming to second 
example we want to evaluate if monthly mobile bill of males and females are different okay that means 10 is accepted yeah see we don't say vijendra as i said we don't say 10 is accepted we say we fail to reject that the mobile screen size is different from 10 okay see we are not testing whether the mobile size is 10 we are testing whether the mobile size is this is different from 10 these two are different things and i've been repeating this since yesterday if you recall right so just start using the right uh, words right terminology because then you get into the habit of using that right thing okay exact ah uh, yes like a husband never accept wife's demand he fails to reject yeah 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 interesting very interesting example <laughs> okay okay <clears throat> we want to evaluate if monthly mobile bills of males and females are different another is male and female example uh, interesting one right so even without reading this example you can uh, i mean you can probably think of the you can guess the result are the mobile bills different for male and female <laughs> or or same they are same definitely they are going to be different right but i don't know about this example but yeah <laughs> okay conduct okay what we are going to do is we are going to conduct a independent sample t test for testing the bill amount for males and females to test if they are any different interesting right so what we'll do is uh we'll conduct first let's import this oh yes what is the first i want you to construct a null and alternate who will tell me null and alternate without looking at the screen if if somebody of if some of you looked just think and tell me reading the question what will be the null hypothesis yeah but in two samples yes i i just want you to try exactly yes gayatri you are right in two sample we say bharat see here i am not having any mean value right but i want to compare this is a two sample right so what is my null null means assume no change or assume things are coming from the same population so we can say in two sample we say null that there is no difference between the mean uh, uh there is no difference between the mobile bill of male and female okay no difference is right no difference is uh, no change right exactly bill 1 is equal to bill 2 or bill male is equal to bill female right and alternate is yes there is difference mu 1 is equal to is not equal to mu 2 so my null will be the average monthly mobile bill for males and females are not significantly different notice the words the more you use these words the more i mean you you start getting confidence on this topic and it looks like yes you have a very good hold on this these words not significantly different right the average mobile bill and h1 is the average mobile bill for the males and females are significantly different clear null and alternate is clear now let's go to okay i want you to import this and name it as mob bill line number 151 let's import it i will also import it in front of you uh, i mean sorry with you mobile bill monthly mobile bill file okay when i import it i name it as mob bill 
I view this and attach it. Now, if you view it, you'll see there are 41 entries, right? Mobile bill for females and males are there, gender, and mobile bills are there, okay? Now, If you go back, if I go back to the assumptions, <clears throat> right? There are two assumptions in t-test. We are testing these assumptions, whether the distribution is normal, whether they are coming from a normal distribution, right? And second, whether the variance of male and female gender, whether the variance is homogeneous of the two samples. Okay, right? So we will test these two assumptions here, right? Though, if you are sure that it is coming from a normal distribution, you may not test the, the normality, uh, right? But if you have two samples, you will always test the homogeneity of variance because only then the t-test will apply, okay? So first we are going to test the normality. Okay, before I proceed, all of you have imported till line number 155, type 155 if you are done till 155. <coughs> type 155, okay, we'll wait for others. I'll, I need some more confirmations. Imported and viewed and you have run attach. Okay, good. Thanks for the confirmation. Now, we are going to test the normality of the assumption. Now, if I have to test the normality of the assumption, I just want to see whether the two, um, whether the data or is normally distributed, whether the data from it, these are picked, the samples are picked, it is normally distributed, right? So, I am going to put H0 as the data is normally distributed and I'm going to put, put H1 as the data, that the data is not normally distributed, right? Okay, then there is a test called Shapiro test, Shapiro.test, right? Is the command. This will test the normality of the data, right? You run Shapiro test and on mobile bill, monthly mobile bill, right? You, you, do, you do a Shapiro test and you'll come up with a p-value. Line number 166, right? You got the p-value? No problem, you can write it. Okay, if you want to write, just include these comments. Anyways, I've shared these, but if you want to include these, I'll share H0 and H1. Okay, so what is the conclusion? After running Shapiro, those who have run Shapiro, p-value is greater than 0 0.05. So what is the conclusion? Is the data normally distributed or not normally distributed? We say we fail to reject the null. And what is my null? That the data is normally distributed, right? So it means that my data is coming from a normal distribution. It means I'm okay to perform a t-test on this data set, clear? Right. Okay. Now, second, second test. We will will second will test the assumption of homogeneity of variance. Now, homogeneity of variance it can be tested by. Uh, for that, you have to install this package. I want you to install this package car. Install this package car, and library run it. Uh, activate it also. I'll share the command. Install 
packages car and library car. Okay. We have test we have tested that the data is normally distributed. Now second test we are going to do, second assumption we are going to test is that whether there is homogeneity of variance in the two groups, that is male and female, right? So whenever, okay, now whenever you're comparing these two groups, you need to do this test, okay? And it can be test, this test can be done using Levin's test. Levin's test helps you test the equality of variance, okay? In this, we calculate the Levin's statistic, right? We'll see how do you calculate the Levin's statistic compute the test of homo which computes the test of homogeneity of the variance. Levin's test is equal to the variance test. Yeah, is the variance test. It can be used to check if the data sets fully uh, fulfill the homogeneity condition or the assumption, right? So if I have to test whether the homogeneity or, or whether the variance of the two data set I have to test the homogeneity, uh, sorry, homogeneity of the variance. So what will be the null? What will be the null? Assume no change, no difference. Null will be assume no difference, right? So null will be there is no significant difference in the variability of the two samples, males and females, okay? And H1 will be, there is a significant difference in the variability. We will test this. Okay, then you have installed, have you installed the package car? Car package helps you do this Levin's test. Those who have installed car type C, type C if you have installed the car package. Okay, good. Now, you do a Levin's test. Now here in the Levin's test, I have to mention on one side, I will, I will mention the data set. Uh, you mean the, uh, the variable that is given on second side, on the right side, I will mention the gender, right? On one side, I'll mention the bill, <coughs> the where I have the values. Other side, I'll mention the gender, the classes, okay? And I mentioned center equal to mean, means I have to, because we have to test it around the mean. So I'll just mention center equal to mean. And when I run this, check the p-value. When you write 11 test, t is capital. Remember this. What is the p value that you got? Once you run it, tell me what is the p value that you got. P is the probability. And the p-value that you get is 0.88. You should be getting 0.88. Just check. Right? Okay. We'll wait for some more confirmations. So, should we be rejecting the null or accepting the null? Oh, sorry. Or fail, fail to reject the null? Fail to reject the null means is there a difference in the variance or both of them have similar variance? No difference, exactly, right? Now we have done the second test also and we can see that our second assumption also is applicable and both the data set have a similar variance, right? Now it means we are 
we can apply the t test now t test is very simple that same command t dot test monthly mobile bill dollar or oh sorry monthly mobile bill tilde gender mobile bill on one side and gender on the other side now here notice here my mu is going to be zero mu is here the difference remember even in h0 what did we say there is no difference so mu is going to be zero right and alternative i will mention two sided and again this is not a paired sample so i mention paired equal to false run this t test and tell me what is the result